Hi, my name is Bethany Sadlowski. I'm a registered nurse, board certified vascular access specialist, clinical director of education here at Persis Medical, bringing you the tip of the day, going over indications and contraindications for interosseous access. Um, it's very important, it's a life-saving medical device. Uh, pretty much you can use um, interosseous access for any emergent patient that has difficult peripheral IV access. So your indications would be unable to obtain peripheral access, uh, patient deterioration without um, IO access or IV access, uh, patients with OB emergencies, uh, trauma, um, anyone that um, has low blood pressure that's unstable, cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest, uh, rapid sequence intubation, um, Interosseous access can be easily achieved within eight, uh, nine to 18 seconds with a 95 to 99% success rate. Um, if you have sepsis, burns, um, anything like that, basically anyone that needs IV access emergently and you can't obtain it, you're gonna go IO. What are some of the contraindications? Uh, the biggest one um, for me that seems to be overlooked is previous IO attempt in the same bone within 48 hours. It takes 48 hours for the fibrin sheath, so it's not safe if it's already been penetrated to then re-penetrate that bone. Um, fracture, uh, trauma to that site, uh, unable to locate the landmarks, history of bone disease is a relative one. Um, anytime you put an IO access in, there is always that risk. However, you always weigh the risk versus the benefits. Um, so unless it's osteogenesis imperfecta, I would go ahead and place that if you need to get access. Um, infection at the insertion site, you want to avoid. Um, orthopedic procedures, if you see it, you know, they've had a total shoulder or a total knee, you're going to avoid that site because uh, the IO does not go through titanium. Um, and that is your tip of the day.